Hi, this is Kelly from Play, Learn, Talk, and this is my tutorial for my Happy New Year board game. I've designed this game to be used with your students, elementary through high school age, as a conversation starter style game. You can use to welcome your students back from break and talk about what they did over their break, what holidays they celebrated, who they saw, where they went, how they celebrated New Year's, and what are their hopes and wishes for 2021. Now, it's been designed to have up to four players. I have four stars in the bottom left corner. These are all draggable items. You simply choose as many as you need for your session. I would not recommend using this for a large group, but simply sticking with four or less players. Now, let's say we have a blue star player and a pink star player, so we're doing a two-player game, and I'm going to pair this with a die. Now, you can pair it with a virtual die like this one on random.org, or you can use a real die and actually roll it in person and then show it to your students virtually across the platform that you're using. So if we did this one, we're going to hit roll again and we get a five. So I am going to keep control actually of this game. I'm keeping remote control and I'm going to move the player the amount that it was. Okay, so it was five. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and move one, two, three, four, five click on the Y and underneath each of these uh, spots we have different prompts. There's 15 total. So it says, who did you see on New Year's Eve? Now at this point I want the person who landed on this to answer and then to extend it out into a conversational activity. I'm going to have them choose somebody in the group to ask this question to. Now I've created a lot of space here so that I can model the um, you know, statement of my student. If they answered the question, I can model appropriate grammar or I can help them expand their response or I can have a, you know, a little starter for them to support them as they answer. Now I can do the same thing when they're engaging in conversation with a peer. If they ask the same question to their peer, I can also write out follow-up comments or follow-up questions and help my students really choose which responses or which questions would be appropriate to continue and sustain the conversation. Now down at the bottom, I also have these draggable stars again. So I believe this was the blue star who landed on this one. So it was, it was the blue star. So I'm simply gonna move the blue star over here or put it somewhere on the page to show or to mark that that player completed this question. And that's gonna be useful for you later when you are doing your data, you can go back through and it can kind of jog your memory on like, oh yeah, so-and-so, the blue star answered this question, this is how they did, okay? Now to get back to the game board, you're gonna hit back, all right? Now if the pink star landed on that same question, then you can erase what was inside and then do it all over again. All right, so I hope you enjoy this board game and get a lot of use out of it. It's going to be on the Play, Learn, Talk store over at Boom Learning, and I will also link it below in the comments and the about description of this video.